Hey what's up guys, it's Saiku Sam here and welcome to a brand new episode of Beginner's Guide for Unity 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new HDRP, also called the new HD Render Pipeline, which is one of the many templates that Unity introduced with its new scriptable render pipeline feature in 2018. If I'm going to have to break it down for you very basically, the HDRP will help you achieve better visuals and graphics for your games by adding a lot of lighting features and stuff like that, which we are going to take a look at in this video. So buckle up! Grab some popcorn and let's improve the graphics of your games. Alright, so here we are at my desktop and man, like this wallpaper is great, but it's getting old now. I, I need to change it up soon. I've been using this for so many videos as well. So if you have any suggestions for wallpapers, can you just please link them in the comment section? Either way, so we're gonna get started by creating a new project and make use of the HDR template, which is very new. And now, first and foremost, if you haven't already, please go ahead and download something called Unity Hub, which is literally the one here. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description down below, and you can basically use Unity Hub to locate all of your Unity installs, projects, and even download new beta and public versions of Unity. And when you have it installed, you can basically just open it up just like this. And let me just put it back there. There we go. It spawned on the other monitor, just as usual. So here's Unity Hub. I haven't updated it, which is a little bit ironic, but I haven't updated it for a little while. But basically, we have all of my projects here. Then we have a Learn tab where we can check out many different tutorials that Unity uploads by themselves, which unfortunately, my tutorials aren't there. I don't know why. Unity, what are you waiting on? <laughs> and then we also have Installs, where you basically have all of the Unity versions. Now, for the HDRP to work perfectly fine and to even have access to the feature in itself, you're gonna need one of the following Unity versions that I'm going to list. So you either go to official releases and download Unity 2018 and above, which is required because 2017 and down below does not work, or you basically go to beta releases and download one of the Unity 2018.2 versions that are being released right now. This is completely down to you, but I the, the only reason I'm using 2018.2, the official version, is because I had a little bit of issues working with HDRP on 2018.1. I'm not sure if this is going to happen to you as well, but I had hot pink materials all over the place whenever I imported something and tried to change up the materials and stuff like that. So it didn't really work out well for me. But if you see that it works fine for you and you really want to go for 2018.1 for some reason, feel free to do so. But basically, when you got one of the versions that are required of Unity, you can basically go to Projects and click on New, and then you're gonna get this new window where you pick a project name, location for it on your computer, and also Unity version, which is very important because you have to pick one of the 2018 versions that you just recently downloaded. And then also one of the most important steps is that you need to pick a template. Now, the as you can see, we have lightweight RP and stuff like that, but the most important one for us right now is the high definition RP, which is the HDRP. So you basically pick it and you rename your project to uh, or yeah, join Discord, <laughs> of course. And then you basically pick the template and then you create project. You don't really need any assets by default or anything like that. It's going to import them automatically for you. Um, ironically enough, Unity is spawning on the other monitor for me right now, but I'm just waiting for it to actually open up the engine itself. Now, as you can see here, we also have a demo scene that is provided by Unity, which we are free to use. It contains some 3D models, presets for the post-processing stack 2.0, lighting settings, and overall, it's just a pretty good demo scene that you can use to learn. Now, if we enter Edit and then Graphics, you can see that we have a HD Render Pipeline Asset preset added in there. And these are all basically graphical settings that get loaded in when you launch a new project with the HDRP. If you want to create your own settings preset, then you can do so by right-clicking in your project tab, picking Create, Rendering, and then pick High Definition Render Pipeline Asset. In this file, you can basically edit all rendering settings, what post-processing will be supported or not, and stuff like that. So it basically gives you full control over things, which is literally the main point of the scriptable render pipeline anyway. Now, if you were to import some assets in here, you will most likely end up getting pink shaders, where your models basically just turn hot 
pink. And this is because the HDRP uses a new shader, which is lit. And in order to fix that, Unity introduces a new option if you go to edit, then render pipeline. And in here, you can basically upgrade project materials to the HDRP, or even pick the specific materials you wish to upgrade by highlighting them, and then click on the option right below this one. By the way, if you wish to upgrade the project materials, you should give it some time. I had like 278 materials to upgrade or something like that and which it took me about 10 minutes 15 minutes to upgrade it's not long at all like it's pretty good actually but don't panic if unity seems to freeze or if you get a spinning cursor or something like that because I was panicking a little bit because I thought that it was stuck and that's pretty much a good solid start for HDRP from now on like from this point on in this video we are going to talk about its features and how you can use most of these features so it's still important for you even if you're a beginner but I just want to say like the reason I'm not getting getting way too in deep with HDRP right now for this video is because it's a beginner's guide video. I don't want to get way too in deep and bore or scare or intimidate the beginners that are that might be watching. But if you want to watch more videos on the HDRP, I'm totally down to make more tutorials, more formal tutorials showcasing exactly what you do and stuff like that. And if you want that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. So for the features, I want to first and foremost begin by talking a little bit about the lighting improvements with HDRP. So this new feature comes with a new lighting architecture which scales way better than the built-in Unity rendering with consideration given to the number of lights in the scene. The main focus of this new lighting architecture is for your games to have greater performance. HDRP also introduces various properties and a completely new light editor. So it's now finally possible to fade the light, affect only diffuse or specular lighting, or even use a color temperature to set up the color of the light. This all results in making the lighting more smooth, natural, and also custom in your scenes because you get more options to play around with. Now, moving out of the light side of things, which I just realized sounds pretty dark, there is also a new material rendering in Unity, and as you might recall from earlier in this video, we saw that regular materials don't really work that well with HDRP since they give a pink color on the models, and this is because the HDRP has its own version of the standard shader called Lit Shader or only Lit in the editor. This brand new shader comes with a good amount of features and allows for richer material than what is possible with the old rendering system. Like for example, a double-sided option is finally available, like I've been waiting for that forever. <laughs> and there are features such as parallax occlusion mapping and tessellation which is literally one click. This allows for more realistic rendering while also giving you full control over each and every material and the maps that are added on to them. One of the most important features added to the HDRP, which is also something that I've been looking forward to for a long 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 time is this new debugging tool. So debugging is basically crucial for understanding data authoring in your scenes and to see where the performance issues are. Through your camera object you can now also control the new behavior that HDRP introduces to Unity. So basically HDRP uses camera related rendering which means that there is a good rendering position even far away from the center of your scene. This has an impact on all of the shaders used with the HDRP. Further on your camera can also now control control which lighting architecture is being used and which features are enabled for it to render. So for example, you can disable fog, shadow, post-processing, and things like that right from your camera instead of having going through many different game objects. Now there's still a topic that I want to cover and make super clear for you guys so that everybody knows it. HDRP is still being worked on so several of its features are still in progress or buggy or incomplete and it was released as a preview with Unity 2018.1 and it is still not ready for production. But on the other hand, Unity is actively working to fix all bugs, issues, and to develop the render pipeline further. Now it's down to all of us to try it out and see how it works because we can still demonstrate and see how its full power is actually working and impacting our games. I'm also going to leave a few links in the description for reference in case you want to see more of HDRP or any of the other rendering pipelines introduced with Unity 2018. And with that being said guys, I would like to thank you all for watching this this video. I hope you all enjoyed your time and found this helpful. If you did and would like to see more like this type of videos, make sure to give that video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you stay up to tune for new content. I'll be focusing on graphics a lot under 2018, which I've been doing in the past few years as well. So if you want to see great visuals, you know where to find it. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons who are supporting the channel. I want to give special thanks as well to Richard Stance, Cupola, Tromber MCP, Matt Kalafu, and GI Jojo for all of their huge support 
support on Patreon. Thanks to you all, I'm able to produce high quality content for everyone to make use of for completely free. And if you would also like to check out our Patreon page and see the potential tiers of pledgement, feel free to check out the link in the description. And once again, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed your time. I will be catching you in the Discord server and also in the comment section. I'm looking forward to actually your links if you have any for wallpapers. Like, I'm in bad need of one. So with that being said, guys, I'll catch you there. Have a good one. See you guys. Peace out.